So now let's continue with the last uh, five years FMG questions, okay? So this time it will be bacteriology and mycology. And I'm seeing here a lot of questions asked from same topic. So we are going to, th those topics, we're going to revise it in a better way, an easy way that the questions might repeat again in uh, upcoming FMG exams, okay? So let's start. So the first one here, you can see, excuse me. Huh. So uh, see this question, you can read the question. Now I'm going to come there, let's start. So here the question is, four-year-old boy, you know, presents with a complaint of fever and difficulty in swallowing, something related with the throat only, yeah? A throat examination revealed a swollen gland. The gland was swollen, okay? It means tonsils. They're talking about tonsils were swollen, and they see grayish-white exudate, okay? Grayish-white exudate on the tonsil, which bleeds on scrapping the pseudomembrane. That clue is more than enough for you. Pseudomembrane means only one disease that's going to strike your mind. Which one? Throat, tonsil, some, some membrane is there. And it's bleeds because pseudo membrane when you detach it bleeds and what is that already what you already got your clue that's your diphtheria Diphtheria, diphtheria is the one that has this typical feature pseudo membrane when you try to remove it it will bleed okay but uh what happened the childhood vaccine another clue is the childhood uh, vaccines were skipped the baby didn't get any childhood vaccine so they are talking about which vaccine so it means it should be the childhood vaccines of mostly pcg uh, your dpg and mmr so something related with these things only, right? So the they have the child hasn't received. So the sample was taken from the exudate and Albert stain again clue Albert stain Albert stain again is specific for which one your Cornobacterium diphtheriae. So now the organism was given down. So given here. So they made every clue they have given, making that it is diphtheria only. So it is not okay. Let's now rule out the options. Okay. See now the Albert stain. I'm going to come to this picture in a while. Uh, okay, we'll discuss this first. So you see this picture. This is the when you see a green color bacilli with uh, bluish black metachromatic granules. So that is your C diphtheria. What do you call this one? This one everyone must be knowing by this time. This is called Chinese letter. Exactly. It's called Chinese letter. Chinese letter pattern. You can see different patterns like, you know, L form, C form, Q form, you know, like this different, different types of form. This is that's what they also call cuneiform. You also call it as cuneiform letters cuneiform letters, Chinese letter pattern or cuneiform pattern. Okay, that's the typical feature. And the other important thing is this metachromatic granules, the granules which you're seeing there. The granules, these uh, bluish black metachromatic granules, we did, this is an Albert stain. So in Albert stain, they have found this uh, bluish metachromatic granules. These granules are called the metachromatic granules, the one in the end, right? The, those are called metachromatic granules. Metachromatic granules or other, there are so many names, metachromatic granules. Metachromatic granules, especially to stain the metachromatic granules only, we are using this Albert stain. Metachromatic granules, otherwise called what? Babes earnest. Babes earnest. Babies get diphtheria. Remember like that. Babies get diphtheria. So babes earnest granule, metachromatic granule, volutin granule, volutin, volutin granule, volutin granule. There's so many, anything granule, granule. Okay. Volutin granule, metachromatic granule, also called as metaphosphatase granule. We they also call it as meta. Phosphatase, metaphosphatase granule, because these granules give nutrition property. Just nutrition property to diphtheria. That's what. Okay, so please don't cut anything. Granule, granule, granule comes. Volutin, baby earnest, metachromatic, even polar bodies they call. Everything is for this only. Okay, you can expect any of this. You can be direct question also. So that's what this question is important. So that's what we use the special stain, Albert stain. Okay, yeah. Now we'll rule out why not other. Uh, ideally, if you see uh, for the special stain, not only just Albert, we have what. Kya? There's a clue for that. Paan. Paan ka name diphtheria aata hai. When you take paan, you'll get diphtheria. So what these are the special stains for staining the granules. The special stain for granules. What are they? P for your, if you remember, ponders. Yes. Ponders. Ponder stain, A for Albert stain, A for Albert stain, N for Neeser stain, N E I S S. Yeah, Albert is the most common one we use, but these are other stains. Pan. Pan kaane mein kya aega? Apko diphtheria aega. Remember like that. Pan kaane mein diphtheria aega. So ponders, Albert, Neeseria. Okay. And this granule lip. So I, I've discussed everything about the Albert stain. Okay. So Albert stain mein you are doing this, you are using green color. So it is malachite green first stain. Uh, uh, the, they have two stains, so malachite green, and the other one is, you see this one, this is blue color granule, so toludin blue, toludin blue and malachite green, okay, just, they don't ask that one, just remember, okay, in case if you forget also green and blue, okay, that's it. Now, why not uh, streptococcus pharyngitis, why not tetanus and pertussis? Tetanus is out, because the symptoms are not related to tetanus. Pertussis is, pertussis also, you know, if you remember, uh, DPT vaccine, in DPT vaccine, DPTT is not there, P is pertussis, but what is P, P usually causes what? Uh, border clip, which causes 
oofing cough. It causes the oofing. It causes the oofing cough. So this is also an out. This is doesn't this doesn't cause any membrane pseudo membrane. So oofing cough. Pertussis causes pertussis the oofing cough. Okay. Streptococcus pharyngitis cause what? It is the most common cause of bacterial pharyngitis syndrome, but that causes true membrane. True membrane. I bet it doesn't have all these features. It doesn't have these features. You know, pseudo membrane or Albert staining. These properties are not there. That's what I'm ruling out. That also. Okay. So this is one of the easy question. Diphtheria. So you'll never make mistake now. Okay. Be careful. Questions have been asked a lot. So this picture, when any bacilli with metachromatic granules come, then your answer should be diphtheria. Okay. So this is very important one. And they ask question because diphtheria cases are not rare. It's it's frequently present in pediatric ward. In children, very frequently it's come. That's what every year you have a question from this thing. Okay. So don't forget pan, don't forget this granules ka naam, and don't forget the Chinese letter. This is examiner's favorite. Chinese ko diphtheria aata hai. Chinese ka o kisi pan ka ta, pan ka ta hai, un logon ka diphtheria aata hai. Thik hai? With the granules. Now, let's go to other important points in the uh, thing. Okay, now look at this. Now, because of diphtheria, so we should know a little bit diagnostic part also, right? The important diagnostic part you should know. So what are they? So if you see medias, Two important media. So we have uh, enriched uh, enriched media. We have enriched media, and then also we have what enriched media, and then we have we have specific media, selective media or specific selective. I will I will go with selective media. Okay, selective media are the media specific for your coronary diphtheria. So these are the two. This question also can be asked in the picture. This time they can give. This was grown in this identify the media. So this is what you remember. It is a serum based media. Serum hem. So it is. LSS, low flow serum slope, low flow, low flow serum slope, low flow serum, low flow serum slope. So how do I remember? How do, sir, how do I remember, sir? We forget it. A lot of people. See, corneal bacteria, uh, bacteria, corneal bacteria, diphtheria ka hi naam hai, what is called? Klebs low flow, Klebs low flow. Usi naam se aaya. But still, how to remember? So shortcut is, tell interns, tell the interns, not to loaf. Loaf means gumte rehna hai na. So tell interns not to loaf in diphtheria ward. Diphtheria ward. Diphtheria is dangerous. So you can easily get, okay, though you are immunized, but still, you know, it's a dangerous ward. So tell interns not to loaf in the diphtheria ward. Unka bol de the row mat karna. Tell ho gaya, loaf ho gaya. Loaf ka aagya aapko, loaf plus serum slope. Okay, diphtheria is dangerous. So you tell them not to loaf. Loaf ka aagya, loaf plus serum slope. Selective media, tell. Tell aagya, selective media kya? Potassium telluride agar. Potassium telluride. Potassium telluride agar. Very easy. Telluride agar. Okay, tell your interns not to loaf around. Potassium telluride. And tell right other. Okay, tell right. Tell right. TL yeah, tell right. Okay. A tinsdale is one of the modification media also. That's also for tinsdale also. But potassium telluride is commonly asked question. Okay, if you can add tinsdale also. Tinsdale. Tinsdale also they can have. TT, so it's easy. Tinsdale, tell right. A modified form. Okay. Now, now what is the important question? Now, okay, this is easy. You are in a selective media, enriched media, anybody can say now. So potassium telluride, you have this colony, black color colony. See, this black color colony. If you get those are positive, that means current diphtheria is positive. Now there is something more important here. What is that important thing? I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you now. I'm going to tell something important, more important here. You have to tell me. Uh, there are two questions. Which is a fast growing and which is slow growing? If I want a result immediately, what I have to do? I'm going to put low plus serum slope. The growth is fast. Have have fair. So fast growth for rapid growth. For fast growth, what I will do is that I'll grow in low flow serum. It's not specific, but it's for fast growth. Have for have fast. I get growth within six hours. Six to eight hours, my growth is available. But potassium chloride is a special media, but it takes long time. See, long media, na, media kanam bada hai. So it takes long time. So how much it take? It take at least 18 hours. Overnight incubation. After 18 hours only, I get the result. This question was asked many times. So which is first? Low flow serum slope. Low plus F, F is first. Low plus F is first, so low plus serum slope. So please don't forget. This question can be asked. Potential to correct. See, diphtheria is important. That's what I'm stressing again. And I'm getting a little bit, I'm going a little bit slow also here. So that's where you're going to remember. Don't forget these two media for diphtheria. Okay. Yes. Fine. You got it? So that matlab, matlab, uh, the pseudo membrane comes, what happened? The uh, pediatrician, they take the swab of this uh, membrane and then they send us. So we put it in the enriched media, LSS media. Then what happened? In six hours, the growth will be there. Then we make, we take the, uh, from the serum, no, we, we take, we make a smear on smear and we do Albert stain and we check. 
तो इसमें पॉजिटिव आ गया तो देन वी गिव वी गिव द प्रोविजनल डायग्नोसिस एज क्वाइनेटिव डिप्थीरिया ओके बट ऑफ कोर्स नेक्स्ट डे वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इन द पोटेंशियल डायरेक्ट ग्रोथ इज देयर और नॉट एंड देन इट कम्स एंड वी विल कंफर्म इट एज सस्पेक्ट ओके राइट सो यू नो दैट डिप्थीरिया व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट डिप्थीरिया इट इज अ डिप्थीरिया यूजुअली मेड बाय व्हिच टॉक्सिन इट इज अ डिप्थीरिया टॉक्सिन डिप्थीरिया टॉक्सिन सो दिस कल्चर मीडिया इज ओवर नाउ ओके नाउ डिप्थीरिया टॉक्सिन डिप्थीरिया टॉक्सिन यू नो द मैकेनिज्म हाउ इट वर्क्स वी स्पोक अबाउट इट इन द लास्ट क्लास how it works it decreases the protein synthesis by inhibiting which factor e have to factor e have to factor e have to factor is inhibited that's what the protein synthesis is decreasing that's what there's a decrease protein synthesis and it causes all the thing and the toxin mostly uh, diphtheria is not a, the, the, the main reason for diphtheria is toxin toxin is the main culprit there so don't forget so how to detect the toxin so the method is called elec gel precipitation method this is the method elec gel okay elec gel precipitation method you put the uh, anti toxin you put the strain and Then put the antitoxin strips over the filter paper, and you see if there is a cross or not. If the cross comes, then that is positive. So please remember elect gel. Okay, elect gel. One thing. So how to remember, sir? Either be, humko dikkat ho rahi hai, sir. We have to remember so many things. How to remember? Itna sare elect gel hai. We have Anton test. We have. Uh, um, so many just steps small small text uh, test like this now it comes okay. So that's what you you'll be confused. So now I'll tell you how to remember this. Okay, now elect gel ho gaya. Remember how to remember? You know electric. इलेक्ट्रिक शिका इलेक्ट्रिक शिका कैन न्यूट्रलाइज द डिफ्थीरिया टॉक्सिन इलेक्ट्रिक शिका कैन न्यूट्रलाइज द न्यूट्रलाइज द डिफ्थीरिया टॉक्सिन वाई आई एम ब्रिंगिंग शिका हेयर इलेक्ट्रिक तो एलेक्जेल हो गया योर एलेक्जेल हो गया ठीक है एलेक्जेल प्रिस्पिटेशन टेस्ट आ गया तो दैट इज फॉर योर डिफ्थीरिया शिका वाई देस अ टेस्ट यू रिमेंबर विच विच वन शिक टेस्ट Yes, H I C K, shik test. Okay, shik shik shik. Shik test is to check the. It's a type of shik test is a type of neutralization test. Me the likh diya neutralization. That's what I told. She neutralizes. It's a neutralization test. But the most important thing of this shik test is to detect what. It is to find the susceptibility. Susceptibility. So S for S. Shika S susceptibility S. Shika S for S. See Sheila anti is she gala. That's a different story. Okay, Salman, that that also will come. But here she she test. I I remember a Shika. Shika the girl Shika. She is electric Shika. She can neutralize the diphtheria toxin. And what it says yes for yes Shika. So yes for susceptibility. It tells about the susceptibility. It means susceptibility means when this test comes positive means you can get diphtheria. That's the meaning. If it's positive, you will get diphtheria. If the test comes positive, you will get diphtheria. That's the tricky here. When you have a Shika test positive, means you are susceptible to get diphtheria. That's what I'm using the word. Yes, you are susceptible to get. You will get. Okay, if it's positive. If it is negative, means you don't get. You are already vaccinated, so you will not get diphtheria. That's the meaning. Okay, so please don't forget. These all are very characteristic, definite questions. Examiner's favorite. So this is the way you are going to read. Electric Shika, don't forget. Tell interns not to low for one for the culture media. Remember this. Okay, these are the most most important things. And then diphtheria toxin is the main culprit. I already told you about it. Okay, and one more thing, don't forget. In diphtheria toxin, I forgot to tell that the 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 toxin the toxicity depends on which concentration. Iron concentration. Remember that iron iron is important. So the more the iron, more will be the problem. Okay, remember. Okay, when the iron is more, there will be more problem. Okay, so iron concentration depends. Zero point one uh, picogram it comes. Okay, zero point one is the value. Okay, you don't remember the units. Zero point one is the one. That much unit is needed for this uh, diphtheria toxicity is to occur. Okay, so these are the characteristic important questions. Okay, yes. Now we are going to the in diphtheria. Uh, these are the things you must know. A few more things will come now. I will tell you that also. Yeah. So now. uh so look at this question uh yeah now next question again again you will okay i'll not give you clue you you guys will identify now tell me the answer a patient has complaint of fever with mild headache difficulty same question difficult swallowing again swollen gland and a thick whitish membrane over tonsil which bleeds on scraping that means it's a pseudo membrane when it's bleed it's a pseudo membrane the sample was taken from the exudate and the gram stain was done uh find the following here no albert stain they have did the gram stain okay they did a gram stain So gram stain me you know you know you right you this is a it's a purple color so purple color me so clue how to go so it's a question I guess I may kya kora bhi abhi the first thing when you get a gram stain you should say it is a gram positive or gram negative gram positive hoga to kya hai gram negative gram positive hoga to it is what color I told you positive people or purple people positive people or purple P for P but gram negative me P pink aega negative people or angry people gusa gusa hai uska face pink pink hota hai. 
सो ये ग्राम नेगेटिव नहीं है ठीक है सो इट्स अ ग्राम पॉजिटिव फर्स्ट क्लू सेकेंड क्लू ग्राम पॉजिटिव आ गया तो वॉट इज द शॉर्टकट फॉर पॉजिटिव सारे पॉजिटिव पीपल का फेवरेट रेस्टोरेंट क्या है I love McDonald's, so maybe I'm also positive guy. Okay, I'm a positive guy, baby. So I go to where? I go to McDonald's. Positive means McDonald's. M E C Mac D O D the O is silent. Yeah, D O N A L D S McDonald's. So make the M for mycobacterium. Uh, we we're going to repeat again. It's a mycobacterium. It's going to come here. Mycobacterium. Okay, M is mycobacterium. A for two A is there. One is anthrax. Bacillus anthrax. And other A is for actinomyces. Okay. And then C for clostridium and D for diphtheria. We got it. So diphtheria agya. Right? Diphtheria. And I'm repeating it. M for mycobacteria, mycobacteria, A for anthrax, and another A is for actinomyces, and N for nocardia. Okay, nocardia. And uh, C for clostridium. Okay. And L for listeria. We are going to come there also. Listeria. We are going to come now. And uh, another D is diphtheroids. Diphtheria be here. Diphtheroids be. Diphtheroids is basically uh, Common cell, which looks like diphtheria without any granules. That's it. Okay. We well, usually common cell, body common cells. Huh? And yes, for two S, what are they? Staphylococcus and Steptococcus, the king of infections. Staphylo and Stepto. Staphylo and Stepto. Got it? So this is the easy way. McDonald's. So abhi mein, mera, uh, list mein kaha hai? Where is where is this thing? Okay. I got uh, okay, okay, sir. Yeah, okay, but kaha hai? So here this uh, this is your diphtheria agya. So this is gram positive. So this is a first clue. So, those so gram posthumous is itna sare, sir. Why not? Because this may gram posthumous throat infection. If you talk, there are only two things possible Stepto, uh, st Staphylo, Stepto, Staphylo, Stepto, okay, or diphtheria. Only these two are common. So, this may why Staphylo, Stepto are not included. They are caucus. They, these two are caucus. Grape like, you remember the grape shape. They are like clusters. Like, uh, in, they are like, in, uh, if it's Staphylo, it's in cluster. If it's Stepto, it is in the chains. Okay, around that. But yam par to basically hai. So only bacilli, which is positive with the clinical symptom, is your coronavirus diphtheria. Plus, yamper bhi dekho, you have metachromatic granules. End mein dekho, gram stain mein bhi, you can see the metachromatic granules. Chinese letter pattern, metachromatic granules. So my answer would be coronavirus diphtheria. And so the option itself, you can rule out. Par ho to choti pari nahi aega. Single standard choti pari idha nahi aega. She comes in slap cheek appearance, and bola tha, and uh, erythroblastic, uh, non-immunic erythroblastic pitaris, and aplastic anemia. Okay, erythema infectiosum. Fifth day disease. Men sare bol diya. Panch ungli, fifth day disease. Uh, and um, uh, slap cheek appearance. Ye pur apka choti pari ko gaya. HHV6 so already told you rosiola infantumiga. Rosiola, rosi, yes, si gana, yes, se, yes for six, or exanthema subitum. Us may be yes, se. so that one. Okay, rosiola, reading. Oh, you'll be neaga. Beta hemolytic streptococcus is basically the talking about streptococcus pyogens. So pyogens, uh, this is uh, that, that's a, that is what co caucus. It's a gram positive cocci. It's maybe neaga. So this is the way you put in the coronavirus diphtheria here. Okay, very simple. Okay, so this question itself is enough for you. It gives you a lot of clue. Now, uh, which organism cause bull neck? Yeah, uh, bull neck. I'll show you the picture, but then you know you should know what's a bull neck, right? Bull neck. Matab, if you see the neck is swollen, so bull neck diphtheria is caused by, of course. Your uh, common diphtheria, that is your coronavirus diphtheria. This, this is a very easy question. If you have this type of questions, you are like, you are very lucky. But I don't know, they'll ask this. But still remember, you can get bull neck. So what maximum they can ask is they can give this picture and tell, identify what's the cost agent. So this is your bull neck. You see, diffused. This is, if you see this picture, it's diffused. Swelling is there. It looks like a bull neck. It looks like a bull's neck, you know, this, this thing, bull's neck. So that would be your coronavirus diphtheria. Okay, that's the easy one. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So this is a toxin mediator, so coronavirus diphtheria. So this also sees diphtheria causes. And what about other thing? See, uh, another uh, in coronavirus diphtheria, apart from the coronavirus diphtheria itself, uh, there are two or two or three. They can a few other microbes they might ask. One is this minutism. This causes a rash called erythrasma. Erythrasma, which on a special UV color that fluorescent light me, it gives uh, coral red color. Okay, coral red. It gives coral red color. It's a special fluorescent. It gives coral red. Uh, when you, um, uh, photo light they use in dermatology, it looks so coral red. That's it. Okay, that can be asked. Okay, kiska minu ka hai? Minu ko kya hai? Erythrasma hai. Okay. And one more question is that uh, they might ask you about the uh, immunomodulator, parvum. Cornebatrium parvum, that is an immunomodulator. I don't know how much they ask, but then it's it, it used, used to be in previous. Okay, Cornebacterium parvum. Parvum is immunomodulator. Immunomodulator. It's a type of immuno. Modulator, remember. Pari immunomodulator. Either be a parvum, hai, not the virus pari. This is the parvum. Parvum has an immune. She says good immune. Paru, paru has a good immune. Immunomodulator. That's it. Okay. So this can be asked. So yeah, these are the things you should know in diphtheria, right? Okay. Now let's go to the next question. 
yeah now look at this question another important question this is another different topic let's start this a 45 year old man he comes with a fever headache photophobia neck rigidity so you have a classic triad fever headache and neck rigidity so that is what meningitis so my first thing is i made i made a diagnosis is meningitis okay more related to meningitis two days and he has undergone a heart transplant a one year back and immunomodulatory drugs a lumbar puncture was done so csf they took in the view of meningitis that showed your glucose level was low they say glucose is low protein was high protein is high and then the WBCs have gone high, Leuco especially the leukocytes have gone high with the predominant of neutrophils are very high. They give the clue. Now, and then after that, they did a microscopy of the CSF. They found differential motility. That is interesting for us. That's the most important thing for us. Differential motility, non motel at 37 degree and okay, they gave both the clues. See, differential motility also they've given and they've given tumbling motility also. Okay, differential motility and then non motile 37 and at 25 degree it is motile, but that motility was what motility? Tumbling motility, tumble, hota, just like alcoholic persons, you know, dancing. Okay, now identify the organism. Okay, now which of the most, which of the following is the most likely organism? Good, if they give like this, it's very easy. First of all, you see, this is a, uh, uh, this is a, this is a virus or bacteria because glucose high, protein high, WBC high means that is definitely a bacteria only. So bacteria, right? It's a bacteria. So Yamper, you can rule out, which is non better. GRDL amblia is out. GRDL amblia and meningitis, very rare link. Okay, no. So these, it should be either th these three only. These three, but or anything can be possible. But most important thing is what? Motility. So you know that, you know, what is that motility? When you have a differential motility, that means he, differential means at 37, he is lazy, but at 25, he becomes active. That's differential. And tumbling is like tumbling, you know, tumbling, okay? Tumbling. So, you know that. That is your listeria. Very good. It's a listeria. I'll give you a clue. Don't worry. So, listeria is the answer. Listeria is the answer. Now, so listeria is commonly asked question. So, meningitis, this one. Okay, listeria. I'll give you a clue now. Look at this guy. Whenever you have uh, this one. How I remember tum tumbling, tum uh, listeria motility, I remember as a Mr. Tummy List. Tummy List. Tummy List Antony. I remember him as Tummy List Antony. Okay, Tummy List Antony. Why? Tummy because tumbling motility. Tumbling motility. Uh, tummy list is just listeria. You know, tummy list. Some some people have this name tumbler, tum list, and also I remember tummy list. Okay, his name is list list. Okay, his name is list. So tummy list. He's having a big tummy, and his name is list. Tummy list. Antony, why I kept so listeria? L list for listeria. So tumbling motility in listeria. And Antony is a test. There is a test called Anton test, which is where the, the rabbit conjunctivitis happens. So they might ask indirectly. Rabbit conjunctivitis. Anton test is catastrophic. But they do a rabbit conjunctivitis. You inject the inject into the rabbit. You, the rabbit will get conjunctivitis. Okay, that's the Anton test. Okay, so this Mr. Tummy List Antony, his name is List Antony. Okay, Tummy List Antony, Tummy List Antony has listeria. So what's the difference? Is he is drinking alcohol. So alcoholic people ka kya hota hai? At 35 degree, 35 degree Celsius, to thoda garam hi hai, warm hai. So chup chap baitega, kuch nahi karega, silent. Okay, kuch nahi karega, no motility. Ki chup chap karega, kuch nahi karega. But 25 degree Celsius to very pleasant weather. Weather to acha hai. So, aapko pata hai 25 degree mein to koi saadhi giri pura. It, uh, it will happen at 25 degree. It's suppose something like winter pleasant weather. So, definitely he will start to dance. That means he will move. He will move. Na? That's the reason. This is called differential motility. Differential motility. 35 degree warm temperature mein kuch nahi karega because garmi hai, chup chup betega. But at 25 degree may he get hyper. Mr. Tummy List uh, Anthony gets hyper and he start to dance. That's the clue. Okay, he start to dance. So that is the idea. That is the idea of this thing. So don't confuse. So the, um, that's the reason I put a tummy list and take this thing temperature. Okay, right. Okay, so this is the one. Uh, Good remember. Okay, difference is so easy. This year, what happened? You might not have this. They will they will give the same question. The question either the kaiga neutrophil stuck, but on microscopy. Instead of giving differential motility, you know what they will give? A gram stain was done. A gram stain was done. Okay, they'll give you a gram stain was done in that there was gram positive bacilli. They'll give you gram positive bacilli. Identify the organism. So, kya kori answer the list area. But abhi ab confusion aega. Aray sir, isko baare mein bola nahi. Sir ne ye tumbling motility pari pora tha. Ye gram positive bacilli de diya. Hum kya karo? So, why are you worrying? Nothing to worry. 
the answer is very simple. You have already there. Kya hai? That's what I'm saying. McDonald's is very, very important. You can't forget Vina McDonald's exam ko micro ko. Don't attempt. Okay. I'm kidding. Okay. So you have to know all the positive people will go to McDonald's. McDonald's. It's really wonderful restaurant. McDonald's. Okay. McDonald's. So McDonald's may they flow. Gram positive basile e to the purple color hai. So that means purple is positive. You know, purple color agya, it's basile hai. So purple means it's a gram positive. Yeah, yeah. So CSF sample me, yeah, yeah, gram stain me. So M to hoge, M to micro. When I'm repeating, it's mycobacterium, M for mycobacterium. Once again, you can also repeat with me. Nothing is wrong in repeating. A for anthrax. Anthrax matlab ye, ye mat sochlo, sir. Apne anthrax to but bacillus option me, bacillus the same. Bacillus anthrax hi hai. So aise mat sochlo, sir. McDonald's me to B nahi hai, but sir ne kuch bola nahi. Anthrax is bacillus anthrax. So for shortcut, you have to remember. Okay, bacillus anthrax. Ye dusra C hai, Clostridium. Sare Clostridium family, Clostridium tetanus me, sare Clostridium. D for diphtheria, diphtheria, D for diphtheria. So sir. इसमें कोरोना बैक्टीरिया आएगा तो कंफ्यूज मत करना सर ने तो सी में क्लोस्ट्रिडियम बोला कोरोना बैक्टीरिया कहां आया सी फॉर कोरोना बैक्टीरियम सी फॉर कोरोना सी फॉर क्लोस्ट्रिडियम सी फॉर कोरोना बैक्टीरियम भी याद कर लेना सो डिफ्थीरिया मतलब कोरोना बैक्टीरियम डिफ्थीरिया सी डिफ्थीरिया ओके एंड वो तो कुछ नहीं है एन फॉर नोकार्डिया नोकार्डिया अनदर ए तो नोकार्डिया तो एक्टिनोमाइसिस भी आएगा दोनों फिलामेंटस स्पेशलाइज में आएगा एल फॉर हमारा लिस्टेरिया एल फॉर अनदर लिस्टेरिया ठीक है डी फॉर डिफ्थीरोइस मैंने बोला एस फॉर योर स्टाफ एंड स्टेफिलोकोकस दोनों है है ना एस फॉर स्टाफ I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes for yes will be your no space. Staph and staphylococcus. Okay. Staph and staphylococcus. Do SSI. Okay. So listeria. Aiga. So it's a gram positive. So there is uh, meningitis causing me. There is only one gram positive bacilli. That is your listeria. So don't forget. As a picture aiga, you have to think that gram positive. In meningitis me, there are a lot of gram negative bacilli. But gram positive bacilli me, there, there are there are another gram positive also gram pneumostepnemonia. I will I'll talk about it in a while. But which is important? The most important is your gram bacilli me. There's only listeria. Okay. Cocci me hai. Cocci me we have streptococcus, staphylococcus sub hai. But Gram positive may, if you talk about bacilli, only listeria is there. That's the way easily you're going to. So listeria monocytosis will be your answer. Okay, got it? Yeah. Now next one. Uh, yeah. Now let's see this question. Again, again, uh, this question is also related to this only. It's very interesting question also. Let's go to this question now. Uh, now see here. Yeah, per, uh, I'm sorry. I should I'll better go with the uh, different color because this is... Uh, gram now in this one it's going to be a gram yeah okay now look at this question a 12 year uh, old boy presents with a severe headache photophobia high fever neck papilledema and new uh, neck rigidity was there okay neck rigid almost meningitis Kernix and Brudzinski signs are positive you know that when they try to do them uh, they do that manual they get neck uh, stiffness yeah the muscles get spasm so csf uh, may again same See, your glucose is low, protein is high, and leukocytes are high with the predominant neutrophil. So, that is definitely a bacteria only. Okay, it's a bacteria. Bacterial meningitis. Bacterial meningitis. Okay, bacterial meningitis. Now, gram staining of the CSF is done. Show the color. So, now gram staining is done. Now, we have to identify. Gram staining is done, and then we have to identify what is the organism. Now, let me change the color. The color is so bad. Yeah. So, now, uh, see the clue. They have given this picture. This is the gram stain picture. And I'm seeing what? I'm not seeing any purple color. I'm seeing only pink color. Pink color, kahan dekh raha sir? See, you have to see carefully. These things, what you're seeing, these are uh, pustules. These are the pustules, na? These are pustules. Ye pustules ke andar, see here, few places. This cells, inside this cell, and also inside this cell, I am seeing this dotted. It's like, this. see this dot, dot things you're seeing. Dot, dot, dot thing. That is basically, if you enlarge it, okay, if you enlarge it, it'll be like this, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm writing it here. Okay, this will be like a neutrophil like this, neutrophil like this. Neutrophil ke under SA chota chota, paired cocci. This is a paired cocci, SA. Okay, so you're seeing a paired cocci. So this is a, this is a, so that means it is a gram negative. Okay, so the idea is that I got what, what I'm seeing. I'm seeing gram negative cocci. Gram negative cocci dekh rahe I'm seeing gram negative cocci. So this is the way how you're going to rule out. So may abhi so gram negative, I'm going to rule out the gram positive. So gram positive is me kya kya hai, McDonald's me kya hai, listeria. So listeria not possible, right? Listeria not possible. And streptococcus pneumonia be not possible because McDonald's, yes, S is for streptococcus and staphylococcus. So S be rule out ho gaya. So only possibility is 
H influenza and nasal meninges. And remember, all these four are causative agent of your meningitis. If you remember childhood, mein, in children, the most common cause of meningitis, you know, it's Escherichia coli or group B. Group B, uh, agalat, the group B streptococcus, agalat, okay, right? And then followed by listeria. Three things are there. And todasa, after two years, mein, all these things, pneumonies, uh, your streptococcus pneumonia is most common, most common, followed by we have meningitis, H influenza. These all are capsulated organisms, which is most common cause of your meningitis. So everything is possible. So now you'll be very careful. So, sir, H influenza be to gram negative, right? why not H influenza and nasal meningitis be? But uh, 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 hemophilus influenza is bacilli. Oh, bacilli may aiga. It's like a bacilli. But cocci may, if you talk about gram negative cocci, there are only but there's only one thing, Neisseria. Neisseria mein kya hai? Either it could be meningitis or it could be gonococcus. Gonococcus to STD mein jayega, sexually transmitted disease mein. So meningitis would be the obvious answer, right? because it's causing meningitis. So it should be meningitis. So aapko both are cocci. Both are cocci. Okay? Gram negative cocci. Both are gram negative cocci. So this will be your, so when you see this, this is your uh, clue. So then my answer will go towards nasiria meningitis. So we are talking about nasiria meningitis. Told us, let's brush up. So uh, we don't know what type, whatever questions you can explain. So we are going to discuss both the differences. So nasiria, one is nasiria meningitis and other one is your nasiria gonorrhea. Nasiria gonorrhea is otherwise called gonococcus also. It's called, it's called as gonococcus, gonococcus. And nasiria meningitis is also called meningococcus, right? Meningo meningococcus. So it's, they, they'll just try to confuse you. Don't mix up. Okay. It's nasiria. Okay. Uh, both uh, main difference is what this one is. If you, they both are diplococci. Okay. First of all, both are nasiria. Both are diplococci. They are diplococci. Diplococci. Gram negative diplococci. Okay. And if you talk about gram positive diplococci, gram positive diplococci, there is only one. What is that? That is your streptococcus pneumoniae or pneumococcus we call streptococcus pneumoniae. Okay. Streptococcus pneumoniae. Number one. Another one is your enterococcus, enterococcus. Okay. Now, here, if you see, this is this is called lens-shaped. Okay, lens-shaped. Uh, nasal and meningitis. But gonococcus would be what? Kidney-shaped. Okay, gonococcus is kidney-shaped. Kidney bean-shaped. Okay, kidney or bean-shaped. Okay, kidney bean-shaped. Easy. Number two, biochemicals may, meningococcus may, you have M and G hai. So, maltose positive. And glucose, but yeah, question be both chuk, both bar achuka hai, amara time hai, but I don't know now how frequently they're going to ask, but you can expect, you never know. Everything is changing these days. Gonococcus me sirf G hai, so it is what? It will be glucose positive, just glucose positive. That's it. Okay, so this is important. This one you have to remember. Now, apart from that, so then what about sir? Ye to ho gaya, but what about these two? Streptococcus pneumonia me, the questions frequently asked, uska kya bolte hai? You call it as what? You call it as? Lanceolate, lanceolate, lanceolate. Okay, it's called lanceolate, lanceolate shape. We pair lanceolate. Enterococcus ka kya bolte hai? We call it as spectacle. Spectacle glass hai na. Hamar glass bolte na. O bolte spectacle, spectacle. Okay, but the difference is the it's a gram positive, gram negative. Okay, because see, I'm again I'm going to make it clear for you here with the colors. So ye apke exactly isi pink color me aega. Tike for meningococcus a pink color essay because it is gram negative. Dono, dono, okay, dono, it will be like this, okay? Like this, okay, like this, okay, like this. But, ye dono kese hoega, what color it will be? Purple color, so it will be purple. So, purple color means it will be like this, exactly like this, purple, okay, it will be like this, purple, purple color, that's because it's gram positive, okay, yeah, I say. Okay, like this, okay? I'm just putting the color so that, you know, be easier, okay? The lanceolate shape. Uh, spectacle same. That's it. Bo diplo coke, diplo coke. Now, what is important here? Sir, oh, okay. what are other things important? Should I know about meningococcus? Yes. We are going to talk about that now. So, you know, uh, meningococcus causes meningitis only. Fine. And uh, gonococcus causes what? Gonococcus causes, you know, uh, uh, see, and one more thing, this is capsulated. Not gonococcus, but this is capsulated. Your meningococcus is capsulated. Okay. Here, it causes genital discharge. It causes genital discharge. You call it as flow of grain. You know, male may, especially male, they have this special, the discharge flow of grain, both them, flow of seeds, both their grains, okay, flow of seeds appearance. They say, uh, in the, if you see this a penis, penis say, say, there is a grain, picture they can say, we'll see if in revision, if you have time, I'll, I'll talk about this or not. There is a painful flow of discharge, okay, this. 
one more important thing here in nasal meningitis dono mein ek important complication hai that question can be asked uska kya bolte hai what nasal meningitis ka complication mein apart from this meningitis and rashes and everything they have some special complication what is that complication ka name anybody can uh, remember what we call as water house prediction syndrome water house prediction syndrome water house prediction syndrome here the most important thing is adrenal gland hemorrhage that was the question asked adrenal gland hemorrhage adrenal gland hemorrhage okay but in uh, in uh, gonococcus complication if you talk what is it called water can perineum water can perineum what a perineum the infection goes to the perineal region wamper jaise looks like a water can that's what it's called water can perineum so both are important question which you come water water was prediction nasal meningitis mein water uh, water house water can perineum is here also there is one fitz hugh curtis okay fitz hugh curtis fitz hugh curtis i think this will be discussed most in your derma and medicine but still i am bringing here isme kya hota peri hepatitis fitz hugh na h for hepatitis so peri hepatitis hota hai so please remember this can be also question so that's what i'm briefing it very as much as possible so remember this things okay very very important things they can ask okay right so now we are finishing about the meningitis now let's go to other question now which of the following culture media is used in the identification of salmonella salmonella okay so this could be a little bit difficult for you guys but don't have to worry salmonella me salman khan okay so now see whenever you have, uh, okay before going to this let's discuss about other media then we go uh, uh, okay so okay i'll i'll first let me come here this is our solo boy okay this is our solo boy yeah we all love our solo boy right so this is salmonella salmonella salmon boy okay salmon boy salmonella and what who is there you see which is girlfriend not katrina what is her name sheila aunty sigalla sigalla okay sheila aunty she i i i, I call it as sheila Sheila, Sheila Kajavan, you remember, right? So that's what, okay, this is Sheila auntie. So this is Sheila auntie, this is Salmanji, okay, Salmanji. So we both are always together. Now, important is that, uh, okay, let's come to common things. In Donoka, there are a few things very common. Donoka, what are the common things? I'll talk about the common. Medias, they have one uh, enrichment media, they have one enrichment media, same media, and then they have transport also, same media. And then they have a selective media, same media, because they share everything. Their boyfriend and girlfriend, Salman and Sheila and T, or boy, they are very close. So they share everything, right? So now, there's no double meaning at all. Okay, this is just for your remembrance, guys. Enrichment ke liye in dono ka kya chahiye? Selina chahiye. Selenite. Selenite. Selena is the girl who gives the massage, um, all the, the makeup, give all the things. Okay, selenite. Selenite, uh, you, uh, uh, selenite have broth. Okay, selenite have broth. You call it selena. Selena is near for enrichment. Okay, question. Dono ko transport karne ke liye, who they need what? Sack. They need sack. They need Mr. Sack. Okay, sack or sack me carry karke jane ke liye, they need sack. Sacks, buffered glycerol. Sacks, buffered glycerol. Remember, dono ko same, same. Sack chahiye, dono ko transport karne ke liye, selena chahiye, uska enrichment karne ke liye. Viba ka enrichment kya tha? Viba ka enrichment ka karan kya hai? Alkaline peptone water. Viba is glowing because alkaline peptone water. Okay, viba ka ho gaya. Viba ka transport ke liye kya chahiye? Uska carry karne hai, Venkatraman and Ramakrishnan chahiye. Venkatraman Ramakrishnan chahiye. She has a carry bag with her for TCA office. And carry bag ke saath kya tha? Autoclave salt water leke jati hai. That's for Vibrio. But Salman and Sheila anti dono ka sack chahiye. Yes, yes. Ye bhi bhool jaga to sack yes remember here also remember yes that's also easy clue if you forget okay selective media me ye pura iska selective media hai same media dca xld yes salmonella shigella they are always together but ek cheez different hai kya hai this is who ye kon hai mr wilson mr wilson mr wilson is bodyguard he is bodyguard only for salman ji only for salman ji okay only for salman ji this black wilson i call him as a black wilson okay black wilson he is only for salman ji that's the question ye ye aapko wilson media this is mr wilson ye ye aapko wilson media this is the wilson's blair media wilson blair mein kya hai you see black jet black colonies jet black colonies you can expect a 100 percentage question from here that's what i'm stressing vibrio cholera and salmonella shigella ka sare media finger tips mein hona chahiye that's what i gave you that clue for viba viba darling ke liye kya hai she goes to tcbs tcs office tcbs that's a selective media fir carry bag hai venkatramanan hai aur kya 
हाउट ऑफ क्लेस ऑल्ट वोटर है उसका ऑफिस डे के जाने के लिए बैट उसके पास क्या है ब्यूटी आने के लिए शी विबा डार्लिंग स्टार यूज वॉट अल्कलेन पेप्टोन वॉटर ठीक है एंड फिर क्या कर राइस वाटर का थी ग्लो करने के लिए बट वन डे शी पुट स्ट्रिंग एंड शी डाइज ओके दैट इज वेरी सिंपल फॉर योर विबा कल रहा बट यहाँ पर सलमान सोलू जी तो मोर इजी है बिकॉज यू सी बिकॉज यू आर ऑलरेडी सींग वॉट सॉरी एक्सक्यूज मी हाँ सो यूर सींग वॉट सलमान शिगल का एनरिचमेंट के लिए सेलना चाहिए कैरी करने के लिए शैक चाहिए और डीसीए एक्सएल डी एस एस अगर तो उनका दोनों को सेल्टी मीडिया है बट वन मीडिया वेरी सेल्टी फॉर सलमान जी इज Wilson, Mr. Wilson is का बॉडीगार्ड है सो so, अभी जाओ अभी देखे जाओ ग्रो सो इजी हो गया सलमन आ गया अभी यू टू सेलेक्ट वन स्पेसिफिक मीडिया सो वट यू गोइंग टू चूज यू गोइंग टू चूज सिंपली विल्सन ब्लायर मीडिया फिनिस्ट हो गया पीलेट कौन है पायलट कौन है पीलेट का ऐसे याद करो पायलट हु इज द पायलट पायलट इज यू रिमेम्बर पीलेट और पायलट यू नीड टाइम ओके आई If you if you remember, you can tell me. What about BYC? What is BYC? I I want you guys to think. Okay, that's what I'm. I'm just waiting. What is pilot is? Who is pilot? Bacillus anthrax. Ka? Yes, bacillus. This for B anthrax. Okay, pilot media bacillus anthrax. Okay, bacillus boyfriend. Bacillus boyfriend is a pilot. Okay, pilot media. Okay, BYC. Who is it? BYC. BYC is a bicycle. Bicycle, BYC is bicycle. Bicycle cone. Who who drives bicycle? Your legionella. Legions they travel in the bicycles. Very easy. Very very easy. Okay. Very very easy. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, okay. Basically, Santrax ka ho gaya. Basically, ka boyfriend a pilot. Basically, 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 Santrax basically, basically ka boyfriend a he's a pilot. So pilot. Okay. And BYC is a it's a it's actually charcoal yeast agar. This BYC. Oh, I'm sorry. This pen is okay. Okay. This one. So legion ella kela. Legions they drive in the bicycle. Strout media. Strout media. There are a lot of media, especially for nasal gonorrhea. Amis and strout media transport media for gonococcus ke liye. Okay. Gonococcus. Amis and strout. Ho gaya. So Wilson Blair. There are a lot of circuits. Don't worry. You only see my previous videos also, and, and every time I try to make it better and better for you guys. So don't worry. Micro should be in your real fingertips. That's what I wanted. Okay. So Wilson Blair. Oh, to ho gaya. Okay. Salman ji. Got it? Yes. Now we go to next one. वेन टू परफॉर्म विदाउट टेस्ट इन टाइफॉइड सी अगेन वंस अगेन हम तो सलमान जी की इतना बार देखा देखो सलमान जी का क्या डिजीज है सलमान जी का क्या फीवर आता है उसका टाइफॉइड फीवर राइट ओ ये सो यू डू विच टेस्ट विदाउट टेस्ट इज One of the tests for salmonella, salmonella, salmonella type. Yeah, viral test salmonella typhoid fever means it's typhoid fever. Other is called also what? Enteric fever. Confuse not. Karna enteric fever. Costive agent is your salmonella type. Salmonella type. Salmonella type B. Hai. Also para type B. Para type A and B. Para type A and para type B also other costive agents. Okay, they all cause typhoid fever. Abhi when to perform this test? So, its shortcut kya hai? Ek aur hai. Uh, Salubai ka. Salubai is always a. Uh, Salubai ka ek friend hai. Uska naam kya? Basu. Basu hai. ठीक है. Basu, how you remember? This is the uh, this is shortcut for diagnostic part. Ka B for B stands for blood culture. B stands for blood culture. Blood culture bhi nahi hai. Even bone cul bone marrow culture also correct answer. Blood clot also correct answer. Blood clot. Ye pura culture culture B B B culture. So ki B B culture. Ye for antibody detection test. Antibody detection test is nothing but Vidal test. Vidal test. Yes for stool culture. Stool culture. And you for urine culture. urine culture okay abhi first week mein first week mein the best one is blood culture or bone marrow culture blood culture all are right answers okay best this is the gold standard specific test everything blood culture is the best for typhoid fever but second week mein hoga to the best is vidal test this is the question they asked so that's what they asked this question okay third and fourth week mein स्टूल एंड यूरिन रेस्पेक्टिवली आईडली दोनों बोथ थ्री एंड फोर्थ कप दोनों आ सकता है बट बिकॉज वी आर फॉलोइंग दिस शॉर्टकट वी आर रिमेम्बरिंग स्टूल थर्ड वीक एंड यूरिन फोर्थ वीक बट आईडली थ्री फोर्थ को दोनों राइट आंसर बोथ स्टूल एंड यूरिन और राइट फॉर थर्ड एंड फोर्थ वीक गॉट इट वेरी सिंपल इतना ही है सो टाइफाइड फीवर का दे आस्क बासु याद आना चाहिए बासु 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 लैब डायग्नोस फॉर टाइफाइड का सलमान जी का सलमान जी का फ्रेंड है बासु है B for blood culture, A for uh, antibody detection, viral test, and stool culture and urine culture. Finished. Okay. Now next one. Ye yeah, dekho. Ye yeah, bhi interesting. Now see, bacteriology is fun. Bacteriology is full of fun. Believe me. Compared to other, I, every subject, everything in micro is fun, 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 and very easy. But uh, this is even more fun. Okay. Now you see here. 
a patient presented with vomiting just vomiting hai opd mein aa gaya he had history of eating fried rice ho gaya fried rice aa gaya to answer is there every it's very easy question you can even if you have never touched microbes in your whole life you should be able to answer q everyone from china they must be knowing it okay why you have to be serious be serious when you are eating chinese fried rice or any fried rice fried rice remember ye ye question be serious when you are eating any fried rice kya aayega be serious matlab kya hai be serious bacillus serious bacillus serious okay this is the question so now important thing see option mein aa gaya fried rice which is the most likely diagnosing of course direct question na uh, serious okay you can write it now there's a clash uh, there's a clash means let's uh, 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 let's i write it here see usually there are two one one frequent asked question is after food po in food poisoning like this you know uh, food poisoning ka one topic which is frequently asked is for food poisoning the lowest incubation within 6 hour within 6 hour food poisoning especially vomiting aa gaya to there are two bacteria one is your b serious dusra hai staph aureus staph aureus ye do ye most common constipation within 6 hours ke baad aap kuch khate ho aapko vomiting aa gaya to ye dono hi ho sakta hai ek serious aur to staph aureus b serious to fried rice hai abhi abhi hum kaha fried rice example hoga to fried rice ka example hoga to bread स्टेफ्लोकोकस का क्या आता है यूजुअली मिल्क एंड मीट प्रोडक्ट मिल्क एंड मीट प्रोडक्ट का क्लू देगा तो मिल्क मतलब दे गिव यू पेस्ट्री आइसक्रीम ऐसी चीज कुछ दे देगा ओके द द पेशेंट हैड अ पेस्ट्री आइसक्रीम देन विद इन विद इन 6 आवर्स उसको वॉमिट आ गया तो दैट इज डेफिनेटली स्टेफ और यूज फ्राइड राइस है तो बी सीरियस और मीट समटाइम्स दे गिव पोल्ट्री और व्हाटएवर दे कैन गिव दैट आल्सो कैन रेड बट यूजुअली मिल्क प्रोडक्ट देता है सो दिस क्वेश्चंस आर डेफिनेटली एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन सो यू मस्ट नो इदर बेस्ट सीरियस और स्टेफ और यूज बस इतना ही है ओके रिमेंबर वेरी वेरी सिंपल यू विल नॉट गोइंग टू मेक mistake in this question okay please don't make mistake okay that's all that's it and uh, they don't ask which there is one um, culture media for b series uh, it's just only in pg exam that is called moipa so what wh why i'm saying this here culture for basically series ka culture culture ka for basically series is moipa may pa remember in tamil we have tamil or in malaya in kerala we have this restaurant called uh, Mayappa, M A Y Y A P P A. Mayappa restaurant. Mayer Mayappa restaurant is very popular for fried rice. Okay, so you don't even have to think. Exam ऐसे media देखे you shouldn't डरना नहीं है कि M Y P A क्या है. Even this full name even don't ask me. Okay, that is a bit complicated names. There's the individual assets, but M Y P A only they'll give you. M Y P A is basically a type of agar to grow. आप कैसे याद करना? Fried rice कहाँ पर मिलता है? Mayappa restaurant. Mayappa में restaurant है dangerous. आपका आओ आपका उल्टी आ जाएगा. Okay, no, they are good restaurants. I'm just making it easy for you okay right okay that's all okay be serious be definitely expected question these are there was wonderful questions i'm happy that you know some of the questions are very good question they have asked okay right now next look at this one i told you right it's another important topic examiner's favorite they usually stress on this topic okay what is this here now look at this question carefully they say which of the following stains are used for diagnosis of a mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis tb TB को तो directly you should say TB है तो which is the which is the uh, TB के लिए which is the thing which is the stain zeal nilsen staining right zeal nilsen staining zn stain or otherwise called as what acid fast stain zeal nilsen or acid fast so your answer is zeal nilsen otherwise called acid fast okay acid fast staining acid fast stain so uh, before going to that before going to this thing uh, I will talk a little bit more what about these things ये क्या है सर गोमोरी मेथिनामिन सिल्वर ये पर्ल प्रोशन ब्लू मैसर दिस ऑल और दिस मोर पैथोलॉजिकल स्टेंस गोमोरी सिल्वर एट लीस्ट यू कैन से फॉर फंगस इट कम्स फॉर फंगस वी कैन से इन फंगस एंड दिस टू ऑल पर्ल प्रोशन ब्लू मैसर मैंटोनो इज फॉर टोटली इट्स नॉट फॉर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी वी डोंट यूज दिस इज फॉर दिस स्टेंस यूज्ड इन बायोप्सी पर्पस ओनली सो यू डोंट इवन थिंक अबाउट इट ओके सो यू ओनली हैव टू थिंक जेलनेस एंड तो एसिड फर्स्ट स्टेन सो इसका कैसे याद करना सर हाउ टू डू द एसिड फर्स्ट स्टेन व्हाट इज द स्टेप्स हाउ शुड आई रिमेंबर वेरी इजी acid fast auto you have to remember anand mahendra so what happened anand mahendra is a owner of mahendra but you could uske kya ho gaya car hit poor anand mahendra so sad you know we all love him right anand mahendra hit him mahendra theek hai car hit anand mahendra bas tb car hit anand mahendra tb car hit anand mahendra okay sir what are they now i'll tell you what are they so c stands for which one carbal fuxin carbal fuxin 
may red make urica because it gives a red color stain that this is the one that gives the red color appearance to that uh, uh microvacuum tuberculosis okay and heat ka h for what heating uske kya bolte intermittent heating we use intermittent heating intermittent heating h for intermittent heating okay carbofuxin intermittent anand mahindra because you're using acid kaun se acid we are using h2so4 we are i'm going to come to the h2so4 we already revised in last class but again i will repeat it again and mahindra m for your methylene blue methylene blue बैकग्राउंड पूरा आपको ब्लू होता है आई आई शो यू इन अ वाइल बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट टॉपिक लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दिस एच टू एस ओ फोर बिकॉज इन मेनी केसेस सी एसिड जील इंसन इज एसिड पर्स इसका कोल्ड मेथड है वी कॉल कोल्ड मेथड इन कोल्ड मेथड इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड किन्योन्स मेथड किन्योन्स मेथड Kinyon's method. Kinyon's method. Warm pe we no heating. We don't. We this step is quitted here. This step is quitted in the Kinyon's method. Me we don't do this step. That's important. We don't do the heating. We directly put. We modify, increase some of the concentration of the carbol or uh, other things. But then we don't do this thing. Okay. Now another important question is this H two S O four concentration. H two S O four concentration. Again, I'll repeat it. Very very easy. Don't think too much. Either twenty to twenty five percentage we use. Twenty twenty five percentage or we use five percentage. और वी यूज वन परसेंटेज और वी यूज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंटेज सर हो गया सर सर अभी किस किस का क्या क्या यूज करना सर आई विल टेल यू वन मिनट सो आई यूज ऑन दिन ट्वेंटी ऐसे करो टी ट्वेंटी टी ट्वेंटी मैच सो टीबी के लिए यू यूजिंग ट्वेंटी परसेंट एच टू ऑफर हो गया फाइव परसेंट इज फॉर लेप्रा लेप्रेसी का लेप्रा याद करो लेप्रा रिएक्शन लेप्रा वन लेप्रा टू रिएक्शन लेप्रा फाइव हो गया सो दिस इज फॉर लेप्रेसी माइक्रोबेटम माइक्रोबेटम लेप्रे माइक्रोबेटम लेप्रे लेप्रे ओके लेप्रा लेप्रे वन परसेंट बहुत ज्यादा चीज का वी फिर रिमेबर एस्टे वी टॉक अबाउट एसिड फर्स्ट Acid first parasites. Acid first parasites. Kya kya? I'm not going to repeat again. You know that it's already cryptosporidium, cyclospora, isospora, even some of the tenia segments, those tenia saginata segment, and hooklets also. Hooklets of hookworm also. Okay. But mainly remember the HIV ka direct causing organism, which is your uh, cryptosporidium, cyclospora, cysto isospora. Important. Okay. Then of course your nocardia. Nocardia. Don't forget your nocardia also. It comes here. Okay. These are for one percent. Five percent is there. Go five or five, hai na? So S karo. Five ka S karo. That is spores. Spores and sperm head. Spores and sperm head. Okay, they never ask this question that much. But in case if it also sperm spores, they might ask. So that's what I'm saying. Zero point five percent looks like a five. So spores and sperm head. Bas. Itna hi. So you can expect one question very easily. At least five percentage uh, this thing or one percentage will come surely. So please remember. Finish. This is your acid first staining step. Car hit Anand Mahendra. Carbol fixin. Now look how it looks. The stain may exactly if you see the color. They might give just simply the color name. They can they will not give the picture. They will give the color. You see, two things important here. Huh? The background, background because here usually sputum sample hota. Only in sputum sample you find this much amount of basically. Usually what happen? You ask this patient because sputum sputum ka do they have to give. So you remember how many samples? Just two are. One is at the time when they come to you. Next next one is. Next day morning, next day morning, early morning, first sample. Anna, okay, remember two. You also ask for two samples, two samples. One is early morning, uh, one is at the time when he comes to your clinic, and the other one is on the next day morning. So, up you will do acid first stain. Then, what you see on background, you have methylene. Even you do sputum ko bath, it will be methylene blue because our secondary stain is methylene blue. Mahendra, Anand Mahendra, na M for uh, methylene blue. So, background should be blue. Ye pura ap dekhna. These are the pustules. These are the pustules. The blue, blue, blue dekhna. These are the pustules. Okay. So all the pustules etc will be stained by methylene blue. And what about this inner one? This this beaded appearance. This how do I call it as irregularly, irregularly stained, beaded, beaded red bacilli. Red red color is important. Red that's what car is red color. Car but Anand Mahindra ka car hai. It was red color. Okay. Red color, red color. That's important. Red color. So this is this question would be asked. The red color baseline in the background of blue. Which one they can give you? So a picture be asked there. And you you can expect this question. Definite question. So please concentrate on that. Don't make mistake in that question. Okay. So that is one thing you'll remember. And the next. So this is the acid first stain. Now another interesting is what culture media. So we in diphtheria me I show you on a white color media. Remember right? Uh, that is called lofler serum slope. Uh, tell the interns not to lofler in diphtheria what, but In TB के लिए we have a special media. You must know there is no shortcut. L J media, Lowenstein Jensen media, Lowenstein, Lowenstein Jensen media, Lowenstein Jensen media, Lowenstein Jensen media we call. Okay, we call this Lowenstein Jensen media. I'm sorry, I'm going to take it. Yeah, Lowenstein Jensen media. So what are the things important here in Lowenstein Jensen's media? 
so this this you see this blue color media this is this one this is uh, because of malachite green stain we're using it's a egg based media if you remember it's a egg based media okay uh, lss is what lss in diphtheria that was serum based okay so ye dono what media hai these both medias are what type of medias they both are enriched medias they both are enriched media but uh, lj is enriched plus enriched plus selective enriched plus selective media okay only problem still this is the gold standard for tb ke liye this is the gold standard though i'm going to pcr ki sir sab kuch ki cp nat gene expert sab aa gaya still gold standard is culture only okay so we have this culture this is the conventional culture lj or the other one the other method the other culture method is what other culture method is lj media otherwise you use what automated backtech backtech or midget bolta backtech or MGIT. This is also can be asked as your question. Okay. Is don't know what are differences? Don't know what difference is here. Uh, this one, your uh, your uh, Lovens and Jensen media takes six to eight weeks. Both lumber time. Hota hai. You have to wait for six to eight But back tech, mein, one to two weeks, mein, you will get the culture report, whether positive or not, you will get. You got it? Six to eight weeks and one to two weeks. That's the difference. Okay. Right. And apart from that culture, you have gene expert CBNAT. CBNAT is a gene expert also. You, you don't have to do culture. Directly put into the it's a type of PCR only. So there also you will get your results. Those are more advanced ones. But the important is uh, go, uh, conventional culture and the, all, all together culture is the gold standard for TB until now. Itna sare LPS, lipase, ase agaya, CBNAT gene expert agaya, usme bhi both modification agaya, but still culture is the gold standard for TB. Okay, remember that. Okay, yes. Now, next. Now, now you know all the things, so I don't have to say anything. Now you will answer yourself. Now, uh, if a sample is culture in LJ media, LJ matlab TB, LJ DJ, LJ DJ ka TB a gaya. Remember that the LJ DJ. Even if you forget, I know nobody will forget LJ media. But if you think, sir, I never studied anything in my whole FMG time, so I'll remember LJ DJ ka TB hai. DJ LJ TB. Okay, you remember LJ ka DJ kar do, DJ ka TB hai. So TB a gaya to, so you're doing LJ media. So then, what LJ media said, which would be the staining characteristic? So DJ or LJ to TB hai. So TB ko staining kya hai? Acid pass. Acid pass, Anand Mahindra, uh, car hit Anand Mahindra. Okay, car hit Anand Mahindra. So which stain? Acid pass stain. So acid pass aayega. Not your grams and gram pass your cures are there for common, uh, generally for staining. So that will not come. So yeah, acid pass or ZN stain, Zeal Nielsen stain. This is the answer. Okay, easy. So you know that one. I'm not going to uh, stress here. Okay, so TB may a lot of questions. So that's what I want you guys to please remember. Okay, yeah. Now, this question is another uh, related to somewhat mycobacteria. Look at this question. Here the question is, they asked, which of the following organism cannot be cultured in artificial culture media? Artificial culture media, no, no, yes. Like we can't grow it in blood culture, meconki, or all the specific media, LJ media, LSS, they say, which normal culture, artificial culture media grow nahi kar sakte. So which is that bacteria? Mycobacterium leprae? What do you think? Okay, if you don't know, let's forget. Staph are you? Definitely, yes. We have artificial culture media. We can grow it with uh, blood culture, uh, meconki, blood culture, everywhere we can grow. Tuberculosis ka abhi abhi we saw the LJ media. So it grows in LJ media. So it is possible. We can grow in the artificial. This also can grow. Step pneumonia, yes. It grows in chocolate agar and other some medias, so special medias are the blood agar, chocolate agar, it grows. So it's there. So leprae is not. Leprae ka you can't grow. Okay. So if they ask which of the bacteria is going to stem to microbiome leprae agya. So what are other things? So microbiome leprae, you can't grow in culture media. And for chlamydia also, we don't have any culture media. And also for your syphilis. Triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum. Syphilis causing uscopy culture media. Nee. Please remember, these are three important things. No artificial culture media. No artificial culture. We can go in the cell culture media, but not in the artificial culture media. So I'm coming to that. So microbiome lepre will not grow. There is no any artificial culture media, but they can grow in a cell culture or animal or eggs. It may grow. Kar sakta hai. Okay. Now let's see what is there for the uh this one now we'll see for the uh, uh what is present for the uh these things availability now okay now let's go now uh one second this one look at this picture first of all mycobacterium we now we're talking a little bit about your mycobacteria we are going to excuse me mm. so now we are going to talk about the mycobacterium leprae so look at this a b this is acid first thing where we're using how much five percentage was used 5% H2SO4 used. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, here, uh, what you see, you see the red color bacilli, but look at the appearance. They look like what? 
cigar bundle cigar bundle this question might come cigar bundle like this this are a cigar bundle or globy globy appearance globy or cigar bundle appearance isko kaise yaad karna hai leprosy people leprosy people ko usually hum kya karte they usually throw them out of their village you know it's very bad so when they go outside when they throw it they get bored now they get bored so what they do they smoke cigar leprosy people leprosy guys they smoke cigar they smoke cigar and eat only gobi poor people they don't have anything they eat only what gobi got it ek aur cigar bundle kahan aata hai you remember one more place where the cigar bundle appearance is seen kiska aata hai cigar gardener 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 this is so gardener to which one is that sporothrix sporothrix okay sporo we are going to come that also don't worry we are going to come this in a while we are going to go there also for uh, in mycology okay sporothrix also has cigar bundle another sporothrix kiska hai leprosy leprosy man smokes and he eats gobi bas ye yaad kar lena this question comes never miss it frequent is in my time this question was like many times repeated cigar bundle or gobi appearance is seen in which one leprosy 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 people ko yaad kar lo wo gaon ka bahar rehta hai you should usko time pass karne ke liye they used to smoke the cigar and eat the gobi ye hi aapko in logo ko milta hai poor them okay remember like that so you not forget and what is this one then see ke sir ye kya sir ye कौन से एनिमल ऐसे आ गया सो दिस इज डेफिनेटली यू गाइस मस्ट बी नोइंग दिस इज कॉल्ड व्हाट नाइन बैंडेड आर्मेडिला नाइन बैंडेड आर्मेडिला नाइन बैंडेड आर्मेडिला आर्मेडिला और दूसरा व्हाट वी कॉल नॉट दिस वन फूड पैड ऑफ माइस फूड पैड ऑफ माइस इन दोनों में व्हिच बैक्टीरिया ग्रोस योर माइकोबैक्टीरियम लेप्रे ठीक है आप ऐसे याद कर लेना हाउ यू रिमेंबर इज दैट हाउ यू विल रिमेंबर इज वन सेकेंड अंकल हाँ हाउ यू रिमेंबर इज दैट दीज टू लेप्रेसी पीपल तो अकेले रहता है सो उनका कंपनी क्या है ये नाइन ब्रांडेड आर्मेडिला और फूड पैड ऑफ माइस रहता है बिकॉज दे लिव गांव का बार रहता है ना सो यू कैन सी दीज टू एनिमल रिमेंबर लाइक दैट ओके नाइन ब्रांड नाइन इंपॉर्टेंट नाइन ब्रांड आर्मेडिला एंड फूड पैड ऑफ माइस दैट्स इट ओके सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर ओके फाइन now next so got it right so this is for the leprosy now the next question next question look at this ha huh. so a 50 year now uh, almost you know the important topics of bacteria is covered now we are going to the mycology part okay now let's go to the mycology part in mycology see this one we have a 54 year old farmer from ohio presents to the physician with a chronic cough he has what chronic cough okay and now chronic cough and then a chest x ray demonstrate that he has a mass lesion he has a mass lesion uh he has a mass lesion okay and uh it demonstrates as a mass lesion with hilar lymphadenopathy okay that's fine no, it's lungs affected basically it looks somewhat like a tb and it looks somewhat like a tb tb ka jaisa hai just remember okay tb and then a biopsy was done lcb lactophenol cotton boo is a stain we use for fungi okay that was done to demonstrate multiple tiny yeast forms in within the macrophage multiple tiny yeast forms inside the macrophage ke andar you know which of the following is most likely diagnostic which of the following is the most important diagnosis here so one thing lactophenol got to demonstrate the yeast form uh, actually the picture is uh, i'll show you they can they can give you this picture or they can give you uh, i'm sorry the picture is back okay i'll i'll show you that picture so here it's once again once again this this second Hmm, yeah so this is enough for this clue is enough ek to ohio se you got a clue already ohio okay dusra hai lungs affected that uh, looks more like a tb tb ka picture aa gaya okay other one lactophenol cotton the tiny yeast macrophages ke andar tiny yeast tha tiny tiny yeast as a tiny tiny yeast was there okay now the, here in this picture the, if they give you this but this is a tuberculate form this is a tuber coolate form this is a tuberculate form okay this is a tuberculate form now what is your diagnosis very easy look at this one look at this picture yahan par hai what happened here in this picture you see very carefully here the boyfriend this guy see the ye dono andar kahan par hai cave ke andar hai boyfriend he says to girlfriend hi every point is important hi darling he says hi darling okay he says hi darling let's go to Ohio, Mississippi, Ohio, Mississippi cave. Ohio, Miss. Everything is important. Hi, darling. Let's go to Ohio, Mississippi cave and 
have darling also have fun boyfriend girlfriend bolti hai no darling she is saying she is saying no darling there is bat in cave there is bat in cave which will which will give you kya deta hai tb that's it ye aapko histoplasmosis ka future you got it everything is there everything i gave you a clue now okay sir ye kya sa itna bada story bol diya ye dono ka so ye dekho ye boyfriend girlfriend ka conversation aise hai he is saying darling let's go to ohio cave ke andar we'll do some romance ohio mississippi cave ke andar karenge girlfriend is saying no 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 wahan par bat hai tb de dega so everything is a clue here now let's start hi means histoplasmosis dhyan se dekho very easy very very histoplasmosis ho gaya other name is darling disease डार्लिंग डिजीज हिस्टोप्लास्मिस के दूसरे नाम डार्लिंग डिजीज ओहायो डिजीज और मिसिसिपी डिजीज मिसिसिपी रिवर डिजीज सारे अदर नेम्स है और केव्स डिजीज केव्स डिजीज ये पूरा क्वेश्चन है डोंट थिंक आई एम मेकिंग सम कॉमेडी हेयर एक एक सर क्या ये क्यों बोला ये एवरीथिंग वाज अ क्वेश्चन दे कैन गिव यू डार्लिंग डिजीज केव्स डिजीज कुछ भी ये याद आना चाहिए केव अगर तो तू बॉयफ्रेंड गर्लफ्रेंड है दे सेइंग हाय डार्लिंग हिस्टोप्लास्मोसिस हिस्टो पे याद आना चाहिए दूसरा गर्लफ्रेंड क्यों बैट बोलती है बिकॉज दिस इज स्प्रेडेड बाय बर्ड्स और बैट ये भी क्वेश्चन है बर्ड्स और बैट ओके बर्ड्स और बैट व्हिच इज यूजुअली इन द की लिव्स इन द केव बर्ड्स और बैट बैट इज कॉमन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके दूसरा टीबी क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज द क्लिनिकल फ्यूचर इज वेरी सिमिलर टू सिमिलर टू टीबी प्लस उसका मैक्रोकोनिडिया है ना दैट इज वेरी मच लुकिंग लाइक व्हाट द मोल्ड फॉर्म में यू गेट व्हाट ट्यूबरकुलेट ट्यूबरकुलेट कोनिडियास मैक्रोकोनिडिया यू गेट ट्यूबरकुलेट मैक्रोकोनिडियास ट्यूबरकुलेट मैक्रोकोनिडियास दैट इज व्हाट टीबी टीबी ये भी ट्यूब आ गया ये भी टीबी टीबी ट्यूबरकुलेट दिस साउंड सेम बस इतना है आपको हिस्टोप्लास्मोसिस अभी क्या डिफिकल्टी बताओ सारे क्लो ओहायो तो आ गया टीबी का जैसा पिक्चर भी आ गया ये इसका मोल्ड फॉर्म ऐसे है बट ये ना टाइनी ईस्ट फॉर्म ईस्ट फॉर्म इट बिट आई शो यू द पिक्चर इन बिट कंडीशन ओके सो इसी से व्हाट यू कैन डू नाउ आंसर इज योर हिस्टोप्लास्मोसिस ओके कॉकेडियो क्रिप्टो क्रिप्टो तो बिल्कुल नहीं आएगा बिकॉज़ क्रिप्टो में more it's a csf related csf ka picture aana chahiye capsulator aana chahiye those pictures they'll give and cocodiosis to cock cock hai to cock kya karta hai cock ka anthrospores hona chahiye spherules hona chahiye spores okay wo bhi nahi aayega blastomycosis kya hai blast mein you have a eight figure of eight figure of eight that means broad bada wide east cells that's important so that's what okay so you got it yeah now next so uh, histoplasmosis is over now all the things we're going to talk so that means now we are going to talk about the uh, uh, i have yeah now we are going to talk about the once again yeah ha huh. now we will talk about dimorphic fungi dimorphic fungi dimorphic fungi is very very important i see a lot of questions has been asked from the dimorphic fungi part so please be attentive and careful to you have to know this one okay so now so look at the types first one how to remember how to remember you remember it as dimorphic fungi agar to remember as hit okay hit blast okay hit blast cock paracock cock sorry dangerous thing paracock pen spot you got it itna clue ko zarurat nahi hai कोई भी डायमोर्फिक आगे तो डायमोर्फिक मतलब ये दोनों फॉर्म है इट कैन हैव ईस्ट फॉर्म एंड मोल्ड फॉर्म उसके अंदर क्या क्या आता है ये आता है व्हाट आर दिस खतरनाक चीज मैंने बोला भी सारे डेंजरस थिंग्स हिट का हिट करो हिस्टोप्लास्मोसिस ब्लास्ट करो ब्लास्टोमाइकोसिस कॉक करो कोकिडियोसिस कोकिडियोडिस कोकिडियोसिस ओके पैरा कॉक पैरा कोकिडियोसिस पैरा कोकिडियोसिस पेन पेनिसिलिन पेनिसिलियम मारने पे पेनिसिलियोसिस पेन पेनिसिलियम और उसका टैलरोमाइसिस भी बोलते हैं टैलरो टैलरोमाइसिस आई एम कमिंग देयर ओके वी हैव टॉपिक देयर स्पॉट फॉर स्पोरो स्पोरो ट्रिक्स स्पोरो ट्रिक्स गॉट इट सो दीस आर द थिंग्स ओके नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ हाउ टू स्टार्ट नाउ let's start with individual so uh, we'll talk only the picture of individual so that later on the further questions will be very very easier okay so now look at this 
ये पिक्चर में एक तो सी वन ऑफ द पिक्चर इज दी ईस्ट फॉर्म आदर वन इज दी मोल्ड फॉर्म दैट्स व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू यूजुअली डायमोफिक मींस दे हैव टू फॉर्म्स ईस्ट फॉर्म एंड द मोल्ड फॉर्म सो नाउ लुक एट दिस या दिस कमिंग सो हिस्टोप्लास्मा दिस इज द हिस्टोप्लास्मा दिस इज फॉर योर हिस्टोप्लास्मोसिस का हिस्टोप्लास्मोसिस का मैंने बोला था ना इनसाइड द मैक्रोफेज यू हैव टाइनी 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 क्या है you have tiny tiny let me change the color it's better uh, yeah you have this tiny tiny shape tiny tiny budding yeast cells okay yeast form mein mold form mein tuberculate we already talked about tb 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 ye to heat aana chahiye histoplasmos aana chahiye okay tuberculate macroconidia like this see these things this 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 are tuberculate tuberculate shape hai na so so histoplasmos ka aise hota hai you got it easy histi histo ka story maine bol diya so you will not forget it this one you see figure of it blastomyces this is blastomycosis or blastomyces blastomyces dermatitis uh, so sare dimorphic fungi lung infection cause kar that's the one thing all causes pulmonary infection okay and then other complication whatever so blastomyces may be it looks like eight hai na eight so uska kya aur uska kya bolte broad based broad based budding cell broad based budding cell okay b and this looks very similar see dekho this one b b it looks like similar okay broad based budding cell look at this one this is the cocody co cocodiomycosis cocodiomycosis cock iska kaise yaad karna hai maine i have repeated before also many times very easy to remember a barrel hai theek hai a barrel because i talked about the barrel shape they kaha try try barrel se coconut shell ko break karo try to restrict in in the parasitology here you see these all are the barrels this is aise hote na chote 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 dekho they look like a barrel so barrel ke upar kya baithta hai hamara cock cock hai na cock hen cock okay that one very poor diagram okay cock baithta hai theek hai cock is bearing fir cock kya kata hai ye spherules hai andar kya hai spores hai this one you have a spherules with a spore as 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 or arthrospores aa gaya to this is what paracocidiosis uh, cocidiosis ye kahan rehta hai desert mein rehta hai desert mein kya hai uska valley hai desert valley mein rehta hai so usme kya aayega rheumatism desert rheumatism aa gaya a cock ko kya hai cock barrel ke upar baithta hai spores kata hai desert mein rehta hai desert valley mein rehta hai uska rheumatism aa gaya easy easy pc aur kya chahiye this is the question you will have you never ever make mistake i'm sure i'm sure in my college is going to be easy and again some questions come i'll discuss okay desert valley rheumatism aa gaya to kya hai cock ana chahiye cock ke desert mein hai valley mein uska rheumatism aa gaya okay it looks like a rheumatic almost it looks like a rheumatoid arthritis the thing okay this disease okay ye paracoc hai paracoc thoda acha one more thing you remember blastomycosis ka we call it as south american you uh, sorry this called as north america sorry this is north america This is North American blastomycosis. बोलते हैं ये पैराकोक का भी कॉल इट एस साउथ अमेरिका ब्लास्टोमाइकोसिस साउथ अमेरिका इसका कैसे याद करना साउथ अमेरिका नॉर्थ अमेरिका तो ब्लास्ट नॉर्थ अमेरिका में ब्लास्ट है और वन मोर थिंग मैं इसमें भूल गया ब्लास्टोमाइकोसिस किसका आता है हमारा गिलक्रिस्ट है ना गिलक्रिस्ट यू नो क्रिकेट प्लेयर ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो वॉट एपन वेन ही विंस दी मैच ही वॉन्ट्स टू सेलिब्रेट सो वॉट एपन गिलक्रिस्ट विथ द फैमिली ही गोज टू हैव अ ब्लास्ट इन कहा चिकागो चिकागो इस इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका चिकागो चिकागो ओके चिकागो जाएगा ब्लास्ट करने के लिए ब्लास्टोमाइसिस हो गया चिकागो डिसीज हो गया गिलक्रिस्ट डिसीज उसका दूसरा नाम है गिलक्रिस्ट ब्लास्टोमाइकिस का दूसरा नाम गिलक्रिस्ट हो गया very simple i this is a this is this much big copy maine itna compromise kiya you will not make any mistake in this question so aapka picture aa gaya bhi ab bol sakte ho wo gilchrist aa gaya to blast hai to chicago you can say very easy okay so cocidiosis mein this arthrospore and this one we told it okay now paracoc in paracoc This is shape. एक में लुक एट पैराकॉक कॉक के साइड और पैराकॉक सो पैरा तो साइड है ना सो देर सब साइड में है साइड बडिंग सर सो यू कॉल इट एस वॉट मिकी माउस मिकी माउस शेप और वी कॉल इट एस सेलर्स व्हील सेलर्स और पायलट शेप व्हील द थिंग इज दट व्हील आपको याद आना चाहिए व्हील मिस्टर व्हील Okay, you should have the word wheel, wheel, wheel. Remember wheel, 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 wheel. Any wheel, Mickey Mouse or wheel, आ गया तो you have to remember paracock, cocker side paracock. Okay, very simple and easy. Okay, don't forget. Next, 
लुक एट दिस पिक्चर दिस पिक्चर दिस पिक्चर यू सी इसका कैसे याद रखें दिस इज पेनिशलियोसिस वाई डिड पुट आवर तले अजीत पिक्चर हेयर है ना The other name is Thaleromyces. Thala, Thala, Ro, Myces. How I'm going to explain this? Our Thala, Thala, okay, Thala is Ajit, okay. Thala, what happened? Thala, Thala is popular. Thala ka ghar me kya kya aega? Ye bamboo rat. Ye bamboo rat aega. So Thala, what he will do? He will take his pen, pen, kick what? He will pen se kya karega? Usko rat ko. रैट को रैट को क्या रैट को बट को मार देगा ओके मार देगा मार मार मारेगा ठीक है सो पेनिसिलोमाइसिस मारने पी इसका नाम है मारने पी मारेगा ओके सो उसका बट क्या होगा रेड कलर हो जाएगा है ना क्या रैट का बट कैसे होगा रेड कलर हो जाएगा आपका सारे क्लू आ गया ताला बिकॉज अदर नेम इज तैलोरोमाइसिस आजकल पेनिसिलिस नहीं दे रहा है आपको सीधा तैलोरोमाइसिस आ रहा है सो तैलोरोमाइसिस और पेनिसिलिस दोनों सेम सेम ही है ताले के पास पेन है उसके घर में बैम्बू शूट बैम्बू शूट इज द रिजर्वर ऑफ दिस इन्फेक्शन कौन सा इन्फेक्शन पेनिसिली इन्फेक्शन है सो so, एक तो बोला ये पेन पेन नहीं है नॉट ओनली पेन ही यूज व्हाट इवन यूज द घर पे क्या है उसके पास के ब्रूम स्टिक है ब्रूम स्टिक और पेंटिंग ब्रश भी है ब्रश भी है उसके पास ये ब्रश से क्या करेगा पेन और ब्रूम स्टिक और ब्रश से रैट को मारेगा मैंने पेन पेन पेंसिल ये ब्रूम स्टिक ब्रश क्यों बोला सीध अपियरेंस ये कैसे देख रहा है आपको जैसे ब्रूम स्टिक अपियरेंस जैसे ब्रूम स्टिक और पेंटिंग ब्रश अपियरेंस दैट्स व्हाट ये क्वेश्चन भी आता है बहुत बार पेंटिंग ब्रश ब्रूम स्टिक तो आपका तले के याद आना चाहिए तले या तो पेन है पेन तले ओके ब्रूम स्टिक फिर क्या करेगा ये मार दिया उसको उसका रेड कलर हो गया रेड कलर कॉलोनी सीन इन विच आएगा रेड कलर इन एस में एस मीडिया में रेड कलर रेड कलर इन एस आएगा तो दैट इज योर तला तलेरोमाइसिस और पेनिसिलियोसिस वेरी वेरी सिंपल ताला पेन ब्रूम स्टिक ब्रश इसी से बैम्बू स्टिक को मार देता है ये पेंसिल डिजीज हो गया ठीक है दिस मच वेरी वेरी सिंपल एंड इजी नेवर मिस डायमोस्टिक श्योर शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन वन और टू क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट आई एम सीइंग ऑल इयर्स देयर वाज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डायमोर पंचायत ओके मोर वी कैन डिस्कस इफ एनी डाउट लास्ट वन इज योर स्पॉट स्पोरोथ्रिक्स रोज के पास काम करता है मोर डिटेल्स विल टॉक लेटर बट यूसी दिस पिक्चर जिसको क्या बोलते हैं रोज अपियरेंस रोज प्लांट अपियरेंस ओके सो दिस इज एस ए रोज प्लांट अपियरेंस कोई भी रोज 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 रिलेटेड आएगा तो यू टू रिमेबर स्पोरोथ्रिक्स बिकॉज वो स्पोर्टी गार्डनर है गार्डनर का नाम क्या है स्पोर्टी इट्स स्पोर्टी गार्डनर है उसके पास क्या है रोज रोज के साथ काम करता है दूसरों उसके पास स्प्लेंडर बाइक भी है उसके पास स्प्लेंडर बाइक है डोंट फॉरगेट स्प्लेंडर बाइक है ये शिगर पिता है बहुत ज्यादा ठीक है शिगर पिता है बहुत ज्यादा फिर उसके पास एक एस्ट्रॉइड भी है एस्ट्रॉइड एस्ट्रॉइड भी है रिमेम्बर ओके स्प्लेंडर मैंने बोला देर सो फिनोमिन को स्प्लेंडर होपली फिनोमिना स्प्लेंडर होपली फिनोमिना टिश्यू में दिस ब्रोकन पीसेस जैसा आता है दैट इज स्प्लेंडर होप यू जस्ट रिमेम्बर स्प्लेंडर बाइक उसके पास गार्डनर के पास स्प्लेंडर बाइक है शिगर ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू बिकॉज शिगर बंडल अपियरेंस यू रिमेम्बर शिगर बंडल अपियरेंस किसका एक किसका था शिगर बंडल लेप्रेसी पेशेंट दूसरा है गार्डनर के पास ये स्पोर्टी गार्डनर के पास शिगर है शिगर बंडल सीन इन द स्पोरोथ्रिक शंका एंड एस्ट्रॉइड बॉडी भी है एस्टेरॉइड बॉडी This is asteroid body. Basically, this is the asteroid body. Asteroid body के सुपर स्प्लेंडर फिनोमेना, but this is asteroid body. ये asteroid body भी इधर में asteroid body also is coming here. So this also you remember. These are for the sporotrix shank. This for uh, diagnostic purpose. This is important. उसमें ideally sporotrix में क्या है? You have this rash. That I think there's a question I'll, uh, in sporotrix में upcoming there's a question. There'll be row of this rash will be there, and this one you can see. That's it. Okay. So these are the things you are going to remember. That's all. Okay. So this uh, diamond fungus just only. So again, there are few more questions left in mycology and general uh, bacteriology also. That would be our last discussion in the next class. So all the best, guys. Keep revising. All the best once again. I'm sure this will be uh, really useful for you guys, especially students who are struggling with microbiology. Definitely, you guys are going to do great. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting for uh, good results. Okay. See you guys. Keep on studying.